Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on this uh, F-250 today. And uh, let me show you what I got working. So, I was uh, hired to come over and clean and polish these aluminum wheels. Super nice wheels. But you can see we've got, got some pitting in there and definitely got some brake dust all over it. I'm not going to do anything with the barrels they're already super caked and the owner doesn't clean those and to effectively clean those I need to pull the wheels off the truck which I am not going to do so the rear ones don't look nearly as bad but only because they don't have brake dust on them they definitely have some pitting so I'm gonna machine polish those Got that pitting and that kind of thing all over them just general lackluster but we're gonna get that straight this front wheel is very similar to the other side again they're not horrible definitely need a bunch of work though so I'm on top of it first thing I'm gonna do got my infinite use detail juice in the bucket I got my infinite purpose cleaner all mixed up and I'm gonna go ahead and get them clean and then once I've got them clean, I'll get out uh, my polishers and that kind of thing, and I'll bring you back. Uh, aluminum polishing is generally a very dirty job. Uh, as you polish, the oxidation comes off black. So I'll show you that in just a bit, but you can see what it looks like before. I'm going to bring you back in just a little bit when I've got something done. All right, here we go. This one's all done. I have not coated it yet, but I have polished the entire thing. Uh, some of the things that are working... So Adapt Smart Polish is about the most aggressive I would go on aluminum. Uh, this cut out all the pitting, as you can see, looks awesome. Uh, and with the three inch rotary, I'm using the uh, AC Delco today, I actually have the um, Milwaukee in my gear deal over there. but. Uh, this is working fine. If it's not a boat transom, these are fine. Boat transoms are hard on these little rotaries. So the Milwaukee is what I got to use on that. But for wheels and stuff, this is awesome. Um, so I use Adapt Smart Polish to knock out the pitting and get rid of a lot of the oxidation. Um, I did use the Marine Sanding Polish uh, on a microfiber towel. Um right here okay and I got all these grooves and inside there on all the spokes uh, I also got in all up in here uh, all by hand with the microfiber and the sanding polish then I went back over all of that with the smart finish and was able to refine it and then so I used the flex is the uh, PXE 8012 EC so I use this with an orange pad to finish everything after I use the rotary and a wool pad to remove all the pitting and oxidation I went behind it with this uh, again the marine sanding polish in the spokes and then I used another corner of the same microfiber with the smart finish to go into the spokes as well so now this is going to get uh, EMC Pro, Elite Master Coat Pro. It's my seven year uh, ceramic acrylics uh, coating. And it is looking awesome. And I'm going to get those coated and then get the other three wheels knocked out. You can see a huge difference here. That one's done. That one isn't. You can see the oxidation. Whereas over here, there's none. All right, I'll bring you back in just a bit. All right, all done. So these things were, these front ones were pretty bad. You can see I got them all shined up. I used my three inch rotary, but that leaves swirls, like buffer trails. So I used my flex dual action to polish everything after I remove the oxidation and pitting. So as you can see, they look great. I used Elite Master Coat Professional, my seven year ceramic coating 
on all of these wheels after the polishing. The driver one looks good. These back ones weren't terrible. Uh, definitely needed some polishing. I spent a lot of time hand polishing in these grooves right here on every spoke. So those look awesome now. I went ahead and polished the tailpipes just because they look bad. <clears throat> they look great now for sure. All right, this wasn't a detail for the truck, it was just the wheels. And as you can see, we did some real work. We, as in I, spent about three hours detailing these wheels, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I used sanding polish from my Marine Series on a towel to get in those grooves. Uh, and that seemed to be very effective and shine them up as well and I wiped them out. I use Adapt Smart Polish on all of the faces and the lip of the wheel uh, to remove the oxidation and pitting and that kind of thing with the three inch rotary, a uh, little handheld deal I showed you earlier. And then I used my Flex uh, dual action polisher that I showed you earlier to use Smart Finish on all of the, uh, well, everything after I swirled everything up with the rotary and removed all the, the heavy, the bulk of the, the nastiness, I refined that and removed all the buffer trails with the flex and smart finish. So Gary Dean, detailjuice.com. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram. It's gary.dean.35. I'll put that right here. And if you've got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. If you need me, if you'd like to book the detail, just give me a shout. Check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. And my services page is there too. If you've got a custom project that's not listed on the site, feel free to give me a call and we'll get you knocked out. Thank you so much for watching these videos and listening to me babble. Have a great day, guys.